sorry. Quiet on set? OMG, guys. Like, I can't believe Zack sent both Kat and Greer home last night. Yeah, what a jerk. Like, those two are too good for him. Quiet on set? Thank you. And action. Welcome, Welcome to, to Ryan, Ryan and Chris's, Chris's comedy, comedy show. show. I'm Ryan. And I'm Chris. And we have a great joke for you guys that is sure to make you laugh. Hey Ryan, what do you call a dog that's a magician? I don't know, what do you call a dog that's a magician? A labracadabrador! Ha 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 And that concludes this episode of Ryan, Ryan and, and Chris's, Chris's comedy, comedy show. show! And cut! That was awesome, you guys! Thanks, Miss Babinski. Yeah, thanks. All right, have a good day, guys. We'll pick up where we left off on Monday. Dude, our comedy show is gonna be lit. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. I'm having so much fun filming it with you, bro. Me too. Ugh, we have Spanish next. I hate Spanish. So boring. Yeah, man, I don't even get half of the stuff. Me neither, it's all gibberish. Hey, Emma. Hey, Ryan. Give it up, Rye. She's not allowed to date, remember? It's fine, Chris. I'm over her now. Emma and I are just friends. I don't know. Seems like you still have the hots for her. I do not. Hey, watch where you're going, you little rat. I'm sorry, I didn't see you. How could you not see me? I'm taller than you, you shrimp. You Italian shrimp. <laughs> kind of makes me hungry for Italian food. Why don't we make your new nickname Shrimp Linguini Alfredo? How about that? I'm gonna eat you for dinner, Shrimp Linguini Alfredo. Stop! That's racist! What? I'm just being honest. You're 13 in an 8th grade, yet you're shorter than most of the 6th and 7th grade boys. How pathetic. Leave me alone! I'm a late bloomer! I can't help it! Of course you can't help it. You're a shrimp, Alex. A dumb stupid, disgusting little rat. And you'll never amount to anything in life. You're being mean, Kyle. Stop! I'm being mean? No. You're the one who didn't watch where you were going and mindlessly pushed into me like an idiot. How about I push you down and see how you like it? You want that? Ow! What'd you do that for? To teach you a lesson. Don't you dare get up. You stay down on the floor where you belong. Hey, Chris, what's going on over there? I don't know, man, but it looks bad. I know, man. That poor kid. Should we go tell a teacher? No, man. That'll only make things worse. Gosh, you're such a loser. No girl will ever love you. Girls want a tall, strong man. Not a weak, tiny shrimp like you. Not only am I taller than you, but I'm smarter than you, stronger than you, and much better looking than you. So all the girls are gonna be after me, not you. You're so ugly I can't even look at you. And you smell. Just leave me alone! Aw, is the shrimp gonna go cry to mommy? Wah! Wah! How pathetic. You're just a little baby who cries over the littlest things and can't take any criticism at all. You even smell like a diaper. Go get your diaper changed, you little baby. Hey, what's going on over there? And it's not just girls, bro. No one likes you. You don't have any friends at all. Yes, I do. I have plenty of friends. So stop teasing me. Please, I'm begging you. Hey, if you don't keep your mouth shut, then I swear I'm going to do worse. You are going to regret this, Alex Fortunato. And if you tell anyone about this, you're dead. Aww, look at what Kyle's doing to Alex. That's horrible. I know, Bree. Poor Alex, I feel so bad for him. Look around, you loser. No one cares about you. No one's gonna defend you. In fact, why don't you do us all a favor and just go kill yourself? It's not like anyone would care or be sad or cry. In fact, everyone would be happy if you did. Okay, like, I can't just stand here and watch this. I have to go say something. No, Bree, you're only gonna get yourself in trouble. Yeah, Bree, don't get involved. I don't care. I've gotta put a stop to this. Wait, Bree, where are you going? Hey, stop that! Make me! Alex, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. 
<laughs> hey, look at that. Even girls are taller than you. How embarrassing. Leave him alone. What's your problem? Alex here's the problem. He's so dumb. Hey, Alex, were you dropped on your head as a baby or something? You're a jerk. Get out of here. Oh, shut up. You're only defending the swift because you feel bad for him. Did you not hear me? I said get out of here! Now go! Leave! Hey, what's going on here? Is everything okay? Miss Allen, thank goodness you're here! Kyle is over here harassing Alex! Oh, give me a break. I mean, look at him. He's an idiot. Hey, Kyle, that's enough. To Mr. Moon's office now, both of you. The rest of you get to class. You're not my teacher anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, yes, I can. That's so disrespectful. Now, you better get going to Mr. Moon's office. You too, Alex. But I didn't do anything. It was Kyle. It's okay, Alex. I'll go with you. Come on. Why do I have to be in here? I didn't do anything. It's okay, sweetie. You're not in trouble. We just need to investigate the situation, okay? Now, Alex, tell us what happened. What happened was that Alex here is a complete idiot who didn't watch where he was going, little rat. Hey, Kyle, stop that right now. Tell us what happened, sweetie. Uh, uh... Take your time, there's no rush. Are you okay, Alex? Brianna, do you know what happened? <sighs> I'll tell you what happened. What happened was, Alex had accidentally bumped into Kyle in the hallway, and Kyle got mad. He went ballistic. Can you be more specific? Like, all I saw was that Kyle was pushing Alex around. He was, like, calling him names, shoving him, saying hurtful things, yelling at him, just being aggressive. Oh, and the part where he told him to kill himself. Wait, what? <gasps> Kyle, that's disgusting. What a horrible, horrible thing to say to someone. Seriously, you really crossed the line there. Yeah, Kyle, that was taking it way too far. Imagine how you made Alex feel when you said that. How would you like it if someone said the same thing to you? Wouldn't your feelings be hurt? Oh, shut up. I was just being honest with him. I mean, look at him. He's a freak. No one likes him. He should go kill himself. Hey, you just did it again. Stop, I'm serious. Mr. Moon, are you hearing this? Are you hearing what's going on here? Yes, Brianna. I'm hearing all of this loud and clear. Don't worry. Well, do something. You're the principal. Brianna, sweetie, let him handle this. He's got this. It's not just what happened today. Kyle has been on to me all year. Wait, what? Yeah, ever since the first day of school, he's been nothing but mean to me. He's always bothering me and calling me mean names during class, in the hallways, during lunch. And I tell him to leave me alone, but he won't stop. It happens every day, and it's hurting my confidence. Oh, you're gonna pay for that, you little brat. Hey, Kyle, cut that out. Alex, sweetie, why didn't you say something sooner? I was too afraid. At least I was able to block him on Instagram. Wait, you blocked me? Was wondering why your account disappeared. Yeah, because you were always sending me mean messages and leaving mean comments on my posts. It's bad enough you bully me at school. I don't need to put up with you at home, too. Yeah, Kyle, that's called cyberbullying. When you bully someone online. Mr. Moon, you've got to do something about this. This is bad. I'm fully aware of that, Brianna. Thank you. Kyle Lancaster, we have a zero tolerance policy for bullying in this school. You know that. Did you not pay attention to the assemblies? There are serious consequences for this type of behavior. Yeah, Kyle. Like, you could get suspended. Even expelled for this kind of thing. Alex, you should show Mr. Moon what Kyle wrote on your Insta, like the messages and stuff. That won't be necessary, Brianna. I've already heard everything that I needed to hear. Alex, Brianna, you can go. Kyle, you're suspended for three days, and we will be calling your parents. Brianna, wait. I just want to say, I'm really glad that we have students like you in our school, who are kind and are willing to help others. It was so incredibly sweet of you to stand up for Alex, honey. You did the right thing. That's pure bravery on your part, kiddo. Thank you, Miss Allen. Aw, Brianna. I can't believe you're graduating this year. I'm really gonna miss you, sweetie. I'm gonna miss being your cheer coach. 
I'm really gonna miss you too, Miss Allen. Like, I'll come visit. I would love that. Hey, Miss Allen, can I ask you something? Of course. Ask away, my love. Why do kids bully? Like, what exactly do they get out of it? Oh, sweetie, I think that kids bully because maybe they're insecure about themselves. They may have self-esteem issues, problems at home, something along the lines of that. So they pick on kids weaker than themselves as a way to feel better about themselves. It happens in middle school especially, because you kids are going through, you know, an awkward stage. I honestly cannot wait until this awkward stage of middle school is over. Like, you're right. Kyle must be so unhappy to treat Alex that way. Like, ever since sixth grade, I've had classes with both of them. How did I, like, never know about this rivalry between them? I don't know, sweetie. Sometimes kids may be too afraid to speak up and get help in certain situations. Have you ever been bullied? Yeah, plenty, actually. You can tell I'm naturally soft-spoken. Yes, you literally have the sweetest voice out of all of the teachers in the school, Miss Allen. I swear, your voice literally puts me to sleep. It's so soothing. Thank you, Brianna. That's very sweet of you to say. Anyways, growing up, it made me a very easy target for bullies. For one thing, I can't yell. Yeah, Miss Allen. I've never heard you raise your voice, ever. Like, you've always been very patient. Yeah, you're strict when you need to be, but like, you have a lot of patience at the same time. It's not just that, Brianna. The reason why I never raise my voice is because I simply cannot. I'm too quiet. I've tried, but yelling hurts my throat. It hurts my vocal cords. There were a few times where I lost my voice because I spoke louder than my vocal cords words we're used to. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Miss Allen. That must be hard. So your voice has always been that soft? Yes, sweetie. I've always sounded this way, even when I was little. Anyway, when I was younger, kids would take advantage of me because of how soft-spoken I was. I remember back when I was in middle school, 6th or 7th grade, I think it was. There were these two girls. I had a few classes with them, and the two of them would always gang up on me, push me around, torment me, basically treat me like an outcast in every way they could. And being soft-spoken meant I couldn't speak up. I couldn't stand up for myself. I was just too quiet, and no one would take me seriously. Not only that, but I was very shy back then. I didn't have a lot of friends, which only complicated the situation even more. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Like, how'd you overcome all of that? Well, as I got older, I eventually learned to stick up for myself. Now, I can't yell, but what I can do is speak firmly. I do this with my sons at home, my students, the girls I coach and cheer, and I even did it with Kyle today, as you saw. One day, I had decided that I wasn't going to be taken advantage of anymore, and this is how I finally got my peers, my students, everyone, to take me seriously. Oh, okay. So this is why you're so strict? It's not just that. It's also my upbringing. Growing up, my parents were very strict. And I kind of take after them. They sure taught you well, Miss Allen. And do you know what it is? You're naturally so pretty. Like, you have really pretty hair, you dress nice, and like, you look so young for having been pregnant twice. Aww, you are so sweet. You just made my day. What I'm saying is, maybe those girls bullied you because they were jealous. Because you were prettier than them. Like, it made them feel insecure. Maybe. And you're really pretty too, Brianna. I really like your necklace. Oh, thanks. I just got it. Also, like, thank you for taking the time to chat with me. I really appreciate it. Of course. Anytime. You really do have a way with students, Miss Allen. Like, you put them at ease. I have to admit, watching Kyle be that mean to Alex hurt a lot. It made my blood boil. But, like, talking to you made me feel better. Trust me, I've gone to Miss O'Neill about problems in the past. But, like, she's not nearly as helpful as you are. She doesn't even have the same soothing voice. You should be a guidance counselor, Miss Allen. You'd be really good at it. 
Aw, thank you. That means a lot. Unfortunately, I'm not trained to be a guidance counselor, but I'm glad I'm able to help. Yeah, I'm glad too. Okay, well, I've got to get to class. Yeah, you're late. Do you have a pass? You want me to walk with you? Oh, no thank you. I got a pass from the office. I'll be okay. All right, kiddo. I'll see you at cheer practice. Yeah, I'll see you then. So you were, like, in the principal's office? Yeah, Jess. Kyle got suspended. For how long, Bree? Like, three days. I hope he learns his lesson. Yeah, like, how is Alex doing? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Hopefully, Kyle never bothers him again. Yeah, I hope so. I've, like, always hated Alex because he's just so immature and really annoying, too. Like, he's always disrupting class, laughing at things that aren't even remotely funny, and just being a jerk in whatever way he can. But, like, now I can see where he gets his obnoxious behavior from. Yeah, like, it's no wonder Alex acts the way he does. Because Kyle has been on to him for forever. Like, he's probably unhappy and taking it out on us. Good point. Yeah, like, when you get bullied, it can cause you to become a bully yourself. It's awful. Alex sounds just like my buddy Caden, except Caden's never been bullied. He was just born annoying. Like, how did we never know about this? I, like, have classes with both of them. Oh, hey, kids. Guess what, Mom? Brianna stood up to a bully today. Really? Yeah, Mom. She actually went up to the guy and put him in his place. It was pretty cool to watch, I need to admit. Wow, good for you, Brianna. That was so nice of you, honey. It was just something I had to do, Angela. I feel bad. I mean, we did, like, try to stop her from getting involved. What? That wasn't the right thing for you guys to do. We know that now, Ange. I really do feel bad. Like, I wish I would have done something. Jess, Ryan, did you guys just stand there and do nothing when you saw it happening? Yes, they did, Angela. Brianna's right, Mom. We did just watch it happen. Yeah, I thought about telling a teacher, but I was too afraid. I was afraid that telling would make the bullying worse. Kids, you do not just stand there and do nothing. When you see something like that, you've got to tell an adult, like a teacher or the principal. By letting it happen, you're really no better than the bully. You're right, Mom. Like, next time I see it happen, I promise I'll tell a teacher. Okay, good. Hey, Brianna, out of all teachers, why would you tell Miss Allen? She's one of the meanest teachers in the whole school. If anything, she probably made things worse. She just happened to be, like, right there when it happened, Ryan. And she's not mean. She's just very strict. Like, it's her way of handling things. And she actually handled the situation very well. Like, if anything, you should tell a strict teacher because they do the best job at putting a stop to bullying, believe it or not. Is it because kids are, like, intimidated by strict teachers or something? Exactly, Liv. Have you guys ever been bullied in school? I think we've all experienced it, Rye. Yeah, my older sister especially. She has special needs, and, like, she's gotten bullied about it her whole life. Oh, yeah, Julia. I, like, feel so bad for her. If anything, she has it worse than us because she's special needs. Yeah, if anything, she's lucky to have a sister who cares about her. Yeah, I always defend her when people are mean to her. Aw, that's nice, Liv. I remember in, like, fourth grade, the boys in my class would make fun of me for my height. I was taller than most of them, and they would, like, call me a freak, along with all these other mean names, but freak was definitely the most common. Yeah, Brie, you've, like, always been tall for your age. How tall are you, Brie? Like, 5'8". I'm only 4'11". I'm very short. I think I might be 5'4 or 5'5". Five five. Yeah, all of my friends are taller than me. And that's okay, Liv. Like, there's nothing wrong with being short. Yeah, Liv. Like, I understand the struggle of not being able to reach the top shelf. I personally can't reach it without a step stool. Even with a step stool, I still can't reach the top shelf. I actually have to climb the counters to get there. Don't do that. That's dangerous. Like, if you ever need help reaching something, just ask me. I'm tall enough where I can reach the top shelf if needed. You're like the only one of us who can reach the top shelf without help, Bree. You're the only one who's tall enough. Your mom is pretty tall too, Jess. Hey, Angela, how tall are you? Me? I'm 5'7". 
And I'm about 5'2 currently, maybe 5'3, but I still have some growing to do. I haven't even hit puberty yet, but when I do, I hope to be as tall as Dad. I'm sure you will be, Ryan. Or you might end up being even taller than Dad. Who knows? Only time can tell. Yeah. Hey guys, wanna take a walk to Starbucks? Sure, Jess. You know I love my Starbucks. Well then, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Uh, can I come? You want a drink, Rye? Nah, yeah, just want to come for the walk. I don't mind. Come on, let's go. Bree, don't encourage him. I get it, Ryan. You love Brianna. You think she's cool. But, like, you can't just follow us around like this. It's really annoying. Ugh, fine. I'll just go downstairs and play Xbox. No biggie. Ugh. <sighs> Fine, you can come, right? Just let's go. Yes, thanks, Jess. Walk safe, guys. We will. On second thought, I will get a drink. Caramel Ribbon Crunch Frappuccino. Okay, Rye. Oh my gosh, Ryan, those are the best. Yeah, they're really good. They're my favorite. We know, Rye. You get them, like, every time you go to Starbucks. Hey, Liv, Bree, wanna go on the trampoline when we get back to my house? Sure, Jess. Yeah, but, like, I have to be home by 5 so that I can get ready for dance. Oh yeah, right. What time do you have dance? 6. I have dance Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 8. But, like, Tuesdays are when we have cheer practice. Liv goes to dance after cheer practice on Tuesdays, Bree. Really? Yeah, Bree, I have them both in the same day. Wow, Olivia, you sure are a trooper. Yeah, you could say I am. I'm, like, always really tired by the time I get home. Especially Tuesday nights after I've had both cheer and dance. That's what I mean, you're a trooper. Yeah, Liv, and, like, isn't your next recital coming up soon? Yeah, in two weeks. Awesome. Like, please let us know the date and we'll be there. Yeah, Liv, you know we always come to your recitals. Thanks, guys. Can't wait to see you there. Us too, Liv. We can't wait to see you dance. Yeah, Liv. I'm sure your routine is fire. Wait till you see it, guys. Like, you'll be impressed. 